Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement. On this day, we have been anxiously anticipating for, it's the second half of season three, episode five, season three, but it is Bridgerton. Gay, we have had a proposal from Colin. This is why I'm a little, mm hmm, hmm, sir. Okay, we have had two and a half seasons of Penelope loving, pining after this man. Colin, we have seen two episodes of him going, oh, I think I enjoy her more than just a friend. I'm having feelings of more than friendship towards her. And then we pop out a proposal because she was gonna accept somebody else's proposal. For me, it's a little quick. It's fast. And I know we're gonna have the whistle down reveal. So I think I personally would have felt a little bit more confident in Colin's proposal not going sideways if a few more episodes of them being an actual couple, being a little bit more committed than, oh, we're gonna do this, instant commitment, just a little bit, just a little bit longer, I would feel more secure. I know it's going to end happily ever after. Just how satisfying is that happily ever after going to be? Remains to be seen. But we know shit's hitting the fan because Eloise is going to be like, what? And mom's going to be, what? And everyone's going to be, what? And even Penelope, I think, is internally going, this may not be good as what I want, but is it really what I want? But I'm excited to get to it, and I know you are as well. Oh, caveat. Right. Okay, you might have noticed my episode three of season three reaction was there and then it wasn't because it was there and then two weeks later YouTube went, no, we don't like this <laughs> and took it down. So I had to re rejuge things and put it back up. So yes, it was not your, you weren't imagining things. It was there and then it wasn't and then it was there brand new. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this one goes better. It goes better. Right. But you could also watch full episode watch along on Patreon where you can sync up your copy with me and we watch together. So give it a try. We'd love to see you there. So we're going to get under the big cozy blanket. And because we have had a proposal, I guess we're having an engagement and I'm moving. I'm kind of cleaning out the refrigerator. So my beverage today, I have some Rosé Prosecco. I've had forever. I, I don't drink Rosé Prosecco um, ever, but I have some. So cheers. I hope you have your favorite beverage as well. And let's get to it. Dearest reader, while most seasons of our fair marriage mart. Oh, is this a future, future pen? This author likes it most when there is a surprise. She doesn't look it. <laughs> mm -mm. Why is my heart so happy? Although I know horribleness is going to come in some form. But this moment, ha oh. <laughs> One part secrecy and one part speed. I think she's internally freaking out. And last night, an announcement came with great speed indeed. With her lipstick all smudged, cheeks flushed, a little sweaty. We know what we went down engaged. in that carriage. Oh, he just announced it like that. Oh. What? <laughs> he just announced it like that. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Oh, and she's just gonna go. She couldn't even imagine a, mm -hmm. congratulations. She just had to go. For how long has this been going on? It's very new, I'm just as surprised as you are. For how long have you had feelings for him? <laughs> how have you not known Eloise? You cannot marry him. Right outside the hall. They are right outside. Does he in know? The hall. But you are whistled out. And until he knows the real you, he cannot possibly love you. Mm. 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 
Just let him hear it from me. I just need a little time to find the right moment, but I will tell him you have my word. Mm -hmm. You can't say that, Ben. You can't say the have my word part. What happened? She's upset, understandably. We'll be well. I'm sure of it. Regardless of how it happened... It happened. It is surely a wonderful time for the happy couple. I kind of miss that we don't get that fabulous opening they created for episode one. At least a smidge of it each time. That was a lot of work. So how does news of Whistledown and Colin and Penelope get out if nobody was there but them and the carriage? Oh, Benedict's still occupied. <laughs> Benedict's still occupied, okay. She goes on to say, it may come as a surprise to all that Mr. Bridgerton's rumored assistance in helping Miss Featherington find a husband has instead led to the two of them finding each other. <laughs> Give that to me. Colin Bridgerton betrothed to Miss Penelope Featherington. <laughs> wow. Wow. Not, but I am rather pleased by it. Well, that's good. Who needs fresh air when there is fresh gossip? What else is in the gossip? Oh, good grief. She will compare me to a sour fruit or find some impudent quotation to ridicule me in front of my peerage. Oh, not mention her at all? Miss Francesca Bridgerton is also making the most of the season. Her eye seems to be no longer on the Marcus Samadani and instead on John Sterling, Earl of Kilmartin. Penelope! Penelope! You were paying attention to all of that amongst your whirlwind turmoil. Is that all? Wow. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Is it just the two of them, or is there three now? I'm simply enjoying the view of my ravishing wife. I'm soon to be mother of my child. Mm. Cheers! That calls for another. <laughs> mother! <laughs> Good day. Well, <laughs> and from where have you returned? <laughs> just out for a morning stroll. <laughs> Brother, you must tell them. You delay, so I shall. <laughs> Colin is engaged to Penelope Featherington. <laughs> What's that look there, Anthony? It seems <clears throat> we brothers have much to catch up on indeed. Yes. Oh, and Kate keeps her news to herself. Interesting. For now. For now. I can see. Very classy of her. Do you know she in fact met my brother first? Which leaves me thinking that our entire friendship must have been a ruse to get to him all along. Oh, Eloise is going to spill the beans about Whistledown. It is rather shocking, but I have had a shock of my own. She's betrothed. My parents have told me this morning that they are in the process of arranging a marriage proposal. From Lord Greer. He's 80. Is he, is he 80? not on death's doorstep? Though ripe in years, he has assured my father he is the picture of health. First... Explain. Explain. I have known her a very long time, and perhaps I have always felt something for her. My only foolishness this time was not realizing it soon. It did all happen rather swiftly. Huh? Ah, it's swift because you... Are you going to duel with your own brother? <laughs> <laughs> but tell her. Perhaps I shall go and see Penelope now. First to your wives. Yes, we must drink first before we must drink first. <gasps> she didn't go upstairs to Penelope. She's waiting down below. She's waiting to be approached. She had to hear about it and whistle down. <laughs> Mama. And Colin didn't ask Mama. This is how I hear of my daughter's engagement. Oh, 
Ling, what a reasonable match. A reach, to be sure, but with all his eccentricities, it was a secure match. You've thrown that away to play out what? A fancy on the neighbour boy? Colin cares for me. Has he told you that he loves you? Right now. Do you not remember how the Bridgertons treated us like dogs when Marina's scheme was uncovered? And then you traipse in this morning with news of an engagement to the very same Bridgerton boy, using Lord knows what wiles to entrap him. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Bridgerton is here. Oh! Oh! And how much did you hear? But since we are all speaking so freely. That was Enough. Not meant for your ears. I am still speaking. Enough. <gasps> I proposed to her out of love, nothing less. And were you not so narrowly concerned over your own standing, you might see that Penelope is the most eligible amongst you. In the future, I advise you not to sully our Bridgerton name by suggesting otherwise. He said our. He said our. He said our. Let's go right now. We're going to marry right now. Right now. <laughs> I wanted to show you this before our wedding. Oh, he did whisk her away. It's been in the family a very long time. Wait, what is this? Is this, this a, is to be our home. A actual house? He took her to a house or a wing of the house? Are you concerned that we should not be here alone? You do not realize how much that meant to me. No one has ever stood up for me like that. I will always stand up for you. Unless you're talking to your mates. Because I love you. Last season. Well, tell him now. Everything I said to your mother is true. And you should see it as well. Oh. You are the cleverest, bravest woman I've ever known. And then there's the way your hair cascades down your shoulders. The way your eyes shine when you look at me like two blue pools. That seem to shine brighter when you are kind. And then there are other parts I've been, I've been dreaming about. Mr. Bridgerton! You must tell me to stop if you do not wish for this. No, I do not wish for you to stop. For this meaning what specifically, sir? Well, he's going there, going there. Lie down. <laughs> Lie down where? <laughs> I'm really going to do this before they're officially wed. Are they really going to do this before they're officially wed? Oh, Colin, you should have told him about Whistle Down before Penelope! I understand, though, why she's a bit distracted. <laughs> nice who plays sheet there. <laughs> Convenient. Tell me what to do. I won't do everything. No. Tell me. She wants to be active in the experience. Touch me. What? Everywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere. No, no, no. Everywhere. <laughs> we saw what that, that did to him last episode. So is this the piece of furniture that they broke? I wonder. During the daylight. Well done, sir. Why did you stop? Are you ready? Is there more? Oh yeah, I was gonna ask. Does she does she know what exactly happens? Or does she have as good of a talk as Violet gave to Daphne on her wedding day? Oh. Oh. 
yeah, is this a wing in the house or is this a whole separate house? Because if it's just a wing, that means people could be walking by and Pen, you gotta watch those, those little sounds there. Well, that set T is looking pretty sturdy though. Was it all right? That was perfect. Can we do it together? <laughs> Maybe five minutes. Maybe ten. <laughs> <laughs> I would like a life of leisure, please. I want to be wealthy enough. I don't have to work and I could just do this all day. It's not the appropriate time to tell the family. Not with the betrothal. Your mother has her hands full. We can keep our secret a little longer. Is this the only reason you wish to delay our news? You are happy, I hope. Oh, very happy. Nothing better happened to this baby. Uh, the Viscount is home now, is he not? Indeed. So there's a man there to ask for her hand in marriage. Would you be nauseated by the idea of marriage for yourself? I wish to be married. I just hope my husband will not hide my piano stool from me. <laughs> I would not dream of it. They're delivering all the best lines. Well done, gentlemen. And now Eloise is alone with her thoughts. Are you all right? Am I to take it as an insult that Mr. Bridgerton thinks I am preoccupied with standing? Truth hurts, huh, pumpkin? I'm certain she will understand. You're only trying to protect her. Perhaps you should tell her as much. Thank you, Mrs. Farley. Those are my thoughts. A connection to the bridges and wouldn't hurt at this moment. I told him you weren't here. That solicitor, he wants to see you again. Oh, Mama, don't scheme too much. Don't scheme too much. Do I look a mess? Yes. <laughs> but you are my mess. Oh, Penelope, how are you going to put yourself back together again? As soon as you leave that room, everybody's going to know what you were up to. I know you're more experienced. There is nothing that compares to this. Not even the women in Paris. Oh, there is something I must tell you. I would get dressed first. I would get dressed first. I don't think that's something you could tell when you're naked. Oh, must be the servants, no doubt. Bring you my personal effects. Take a seat and enjoy this momentous day with me. The demise of Lady Whistledown. She antagonizes no one. She makes no attempt to gloat about my sparkler's turn toward the mediocre. Now is the time to strike. And what is your plan? It is already done. Ah, my royal messengers are marching through the streets as we speak. In search of what? We are going to have so much fun. Maybe it's the Prosecco. I'm missing something. A letter from the Queen. By proclamation. Of the Queen. By proclamation. I hereby I declare, declare that whoever brings legitimate evidence of Lady Whistledown's identity to the palace shall receive a five thousand pound reward. Finally, the woman will get the consequences she deserves. Oh, what did you wish to tell me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it is not important now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But I love her, Belle, in more ways than I can even express. Perhaps better you do not try. Penelope is going to be your sister soon. There was once a time that would have been your greatest dream. It would mean the world to me to have your blessing. I have a gift for you. I know you despise Whistledown as much as I do. We are delighted by your intentions <gasps> towards our daughter, Lord Greer. Oh, no! As my wife, Miss Cowper, will reflect me. None of this fashionable dress. 
Somber clothing is best, grey or brown, and we do not flit about town engaged in gossip within the ton. Her tender eyes and ears will never be exposed to such filth. Oh! So Eloise told, told Cressida about, oh no, really? And of course I, I do still expect babies. I would be happy with four or five. You haven't had any before now, sir? He has not had any before now. How did you secure Mr. Bridgerton? Did you find a spell in one of your books? <laughs> you shall not abuse your sister in this household. Any more? Uh, we have all been acting in an uncouth way of late. As head of this household, I will remind us, Featherington support one another. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were doing earlier, supporting me? <laughs> it seems the only thing quicker than the match between Miss Featherington and Mr. Bridgerton is the rest of London's quick return to old ways, with Lady Featherington racing to attach herself to the Bridgerton. <gasps> and the Queen back on her fruitless hunt for Lady Whistledown. Oh, no! Oh, Ben! I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. My bride to be. And here is my son to be. <sighs> oh, I must tell your mother how much I love what she has done with the decoration. Are the drinks nearby? I would join Lady Featherington, but I'm feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> and all she had to do to get him to marry her was be herself. She is an extraordinary young woman. <laughs> I did not realize that you were coming tonight. We ran into each other out promenading the other oh, day. Did they now? <laughs> <laughs> and I invited him. <laughs> I've been thinking on ways to circumvent his proposal. Will you help me? Of course, just excuse me. Either my brother is the most understanding person ever born, or you have not yet told him. This secret, this lie, with the Queen's reward, it is bound to come out. He's Eloise. Can you speak a little louder? If it proves too difficult for you to reveal the truth, I will be merciful and reveal it to him myself. You have until midnight. <gasps> How cruel! So they all right? Did you not just see your sister walk away from your fiancé? You have four hours to be happy? What the fuckery? Seems a little quiet compared to the parties we've seen earlier this season. Lord Kilmartin, you must help him the amusing story you were telling me the other day about the boots. Oh yes, the boots. I have boots and they were mine. Wow, there was, uh, there was, there was mud. A great deal of mud on them. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Shall we get some refreshment? <laughs> Good evening, everyone. If you will allow me a few words. No! Oh, Colin. It was my atrocious riding that led me to meet Miss Featherington. And I'm so grateful to be here with her tonight. I look forward to our life together, to knowing each other fully. Congratulations. <laughs> here is to truly knowing each other completely. God, Eloise, you're being such a bitch. Thank you, Eloise. I, I should like to add how... Oh, God. <laughs> to the match of the season and to the Featherington Bridgerton family. <laughs> Perhaps some dessert. 
and charades in the drawing room. Bridgerton rules, everyone. The person who guesses correctly shall take the next turn. Oh, we're watching this. We're seeing this? Do we need to see this? I'm what's going to charade itself out. Who shall go first? Ah, I think Penelope. It is her night <laughs> after all. <laughs> if Eloise allows it. A product of spring. Surely a flower of some Lilies. kind. Lilies. Forget me not. Lilacs. No. no. <laughs> I forgot how competitive Anthony is. Your family hearts ease oh. the flower. Oh. Eloise is correct. Yeah. <laughs> is it not? Um, a conundrum. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. This is painful. Well, you know, Daisy finally mounted a horse this week. Her fear subsided and she did what was most difficult. And all I could think was, I wish her father were here to see this. Oh. My first wetens the wilds to create new life. That was a weird scene edit, was it not? That was a weird scene edit. Do you want to hear my plan? I'm going to take a flat in Vienna, live my own life with the reward money from identifying Whistledown. As much as I would love to see Whistledown finally exposed, you will never find her. You do not think I'm clever enough. Cressida, I am sorry, please, I cannot do this right now. I will find a way to obtain that reward. Without such an audience, I should like to share with you three the true story of my muddy boots. A suspicious streak of mud found its way into our home. And there we were, myself, the servants, even my mother, chasing this mysterious mud through the house. As I reached the end of my rope, I finally looked down to discover the phantom was, in fact, me. And all that to say, sometimes I miss what is right in front of me and not miss Francesca her I saw straight away you are right this is quite a story after all <laughs> nameless ah oh, well yes <laughs> something Lady Whistledown will not be for much longer <laughs> what I was trying if to she say she is unmasked it will spell ruin for her family certainly any hope of marriage this is Terrible. Such reward is not enough to entice Lady Whistledown to come forward. Indeed. Many would commit wilder acts for such a sum. Perhaps she would love to be unmasked. The power, the infamy, freedom to do whatever she wants, not to mention the money. <laughs> <laughs> is Cressida going to claim to be Whistledown? There is the fact that she would not have to marry. She may see herself living a finer life than any of us. Something is bothering you. I can feel it. All evening you've been shirking my day. I would understand if you got swept up in the carriage, if, if you do not now share my feelings. What is he doing? What is he doing? I need to tell you something. Pen. Pen. Are you well? <laughs> Colin. I need to tell you. Oh, God, Eloise, you're such a bitch. Pen. Mother, it's Lady Danbury. We are expecting. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Uh, excuse us, everyone. Oh, I have an announcement. You would like to know who Lady Whistledown is? You shall know. I am she. <laughs> okay. Surely you jest. I jest not. And you are right. I can do whatever. I want. I cannot breathe. Pen. I don't know where to begin. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs>
Okay, call him Penelope. Call him Penelope. Okay, he's in love. The boy is in love. Hurrah. However, I would rather he have waited to consummate their relationship until there was a marriage to consummate. Because he could have backed out. Of okay, 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 right. So, is Colin the type of man who would break the engagement because he's already slept with Penelope? From what we have seen so far, I think he would still marry her because he has sex with her. He's going to do the honorable thing because she was not only a virgin, she was a proper lady. She wasn't a whore. <laughs> She's a proper lady. So he would give her that respect. He would a proper lady because it's Colin and we've seen so far he's not an asshole. Hmm? But their relationship would be entirely strained and it could be terrible to start with. Still would have felt better if they were married first before they had sex. Just because of this specific time period and all, all that Penelope, blah, 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 Penelope had to lose. I think that makes sense. Think it makes sense? Okay. Slide them to the side. Cressida. I thought her whole, uh-huh. She knew who Lady Whistledown was, that somehow, someway, Eloise let slip that it was Penelope. So she had the info. She didn't have proof, but she had the info to get her out of her marrying Lord Greer. Her saying she's Whistledown, what will that mean? Can she just take the infamy while Penelope writes the newsletters Cressida just takes the infamy and what comes with it? <laughs> Lord Greer, she will not be indulged in gossip. Whatever, dude. Where is it? This cannot be his first marriage. He must have children elsewhere. I cannot imagine this is his first marriage. But Cressida trying to do whatever she can to survive, I understand it. I understand the motive, the specifics, hazy. Eloise, what a bitch, girl. At no time have we seen Eloise say to Penelope, tell me where this came from. Tell me where this started. Tell me what was the goal. You and I have been best friends since childhood. Give me the details. Make me, help, help me understand, or at least give me the details so I can form a full opinion. Instead, she's just, oh, you ruined my reputation. I'm going to hate you forever. Not knowing that the reason Whistledown outed Eloise was to prevent the queen from jailing her as Whistledown. Good friend you are there, Eloise. Good friend. And what a sister. Jesus. <laughs> I think Lady Featherington will never be able to just be genuine. I don't think it's in her. And we have the Viscount and the Viscountess ready to share their news. Maybe waited the next morning, kids. <laughs> Maybe. Just waited the next mo the next morning. Ready. Okay. Can I watch the ep next episode right away? No. <laughs> I have to wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. <sighs> well, I'm going to wait a bit. Hopefully, you are stick around. So, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Actually, you can hit subscribe. Leave a like or two. I had a killer of a week. Let's just say I had um unexpected. I had, I did have, uh, apparently I had to replace four new tires I wasn't planning on. So if you can give a little extra hugs, share the love, I would greatly appreciate it. And take care of yourselves, stretch your bodies, breathe, and then, um, yeah, go see the next video in the queue. Thank you. And until next time.